Hello everyone and welcome to Toy Review, hosted by yours truly, Ranger Boar's asshole himself, Red is Power. But you can call me Sonic Ranger if you like. So, with that introduction out of the way, let's get to today's review. Nicole, what are we reviewing today? Today's review, Transformers Generations, Deluxe Class Wheeljack. The Transformers just keep rolling in. It's Sonic Ranger back with the next toy review, and right now we are taking a look at Transformers Generations Wheeljack. Deluxe figure, of course. And here's a good example. Size comparisons with Sergeant Cup and Sideswipe from the Dark of the Moon line. Now you can see a difference in the scale. So... Pretty much, the deluxes of the Generations line are bigger than the Dark of the Moon line, where the scale down of deluxes, Voyagers, and Leaders all started here. So, yeah, whatever. So, it's an amazing vehicle, nonetheless. I actually like this. It's definitely a Generation 1 counterpart, indeed. But, if you notice, it's nothing more than just a repainted version with different front bumper than, um, oh, I just had his name, Tracks. That's right, um, Revealed the Shield Tracks. It's just the same vehicle with a few differences being the fact that the bumper has changed. To give it more of a Generation 1 appealing feel to Wheeljack. And of course, this is my very first Wheeljack figure like ever. I've never had a Wheeljack Transformer figure until now. So, let's just go ahead and get him into his vehicle mode. I'm sorry, let's just go ahead and get him into his robot mode. We're just going to... Pop these off first, get these out of the way. These will become his tools later on for robot mode. And we're going to pop this back like so. Disconnect the arms, bring them out like that. And the next thing I'm going to do is fold down the wheels just a little bit to make some clearance for the arms like so. Okay. Next, I'm going to get the doors and bring them down. And they're kind of stuck at the moment. Just bear with me. There we go. And if you're not careful, you will pop them off of the uh, these things right here. So just be careful. I'm going to bring them out some like so. Now I have enough clearance to bring his arms down. Like so. Like so. And if you want to, just go ahead and flip the wheels up front. Next thing, you're going to detach this area from the front of the car. Like so. Split the legs. Slide them down to as far as they go. About that far. Bring out the feet. Do not pop them off the ball joint if you are careful. Bear with me. So like I was saying, bring down the feet like so. There we go. The next thing you want to do is grab the hood of the car itself and slide it up. This will split out these areas right here and this will also reveal Wheeljack's head, but we're not done there. Oh no, we just begun. Kind of. Next thing you want to do is flip out these bits right here. Notice these are different from uh, tracks. These were remolded just like the front of the uh, car itself. So, yep. Next, just going to go ahead and pop this off. It's going to be his gun in a moment. Going to bring the camera up just a little bit so you can see more of Wheeljack. Hello, Wheeljack. Okay. Next, we're going to bring this out. 
And I'll explain why in a minute, but first let's go ahead and position his wings, shall we? Bring these out, like so. Angle them up, like so. And bring these up, just a little bit. Keep them at an angle, bring this down. There's a peg right here, if you'll notice. There's a hole right there, if you can see it. No, sorry. Um, there's the peg right there, and the hole's somewhere around there. But either way, it's going to pop in. You'll see it. Just give me a moment. Next, you're going to bring this down. There's two grooves right here, or two holes. And we're going to go ahead and slide that in. It's a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, everything should be just fine. There we go. And more than less, just get everything positioned to your liking. And there you have Wheeljack. Wheeljack in his robot mode. Awesome, awesome figure. Definitely looks Generation 1 to me. Maybe I got the wings a little too high, but you know what? I like them that way. Who says it has to go all out Generation 1 style? Um, go ahead and flip this out. Put it in his hands for his gun or his blaster. It's a little tricky to get it in there first few times. It doesn't really want to go in, but now it did. These right here, the instructions say you put them in his hands. Yay. Why would I want to do that? But I'm just going to show it anyway. It's supposed to be like some kind of wrench or something. That's not a wrench. Everybody knows they're just clips for these like add-on pieces that you can like clip them to the sides for generation figures or somewhere around where they got like actual holes. Like for instance right here. Which is where they mainly go anyway. Pop it on. Take the other one. Pop it on. Get them aligned just the way you desire them. I like mine to be at an angle. Just a little bit. And there we go. And that's the way I position my Wheeljack figure. And he is awesome. He truly is. I love this figure. My very first Wheeljack, and I'm already digging it. I can't wait to get more Wheeljack figures. Maybe even Dark of the Moons. <coughs> Sorry. Just had to be said. So, okay, let's get into his articulation. Pretty much everything about him pretty much relies on a ball joint. So, let's see. Ball jointed head. Ball jointed shoulders. Um, swivel bicep. The uh, elbows are double jointed, so you can get some very good poses. About that far, unless you push the wheel back. Then you can get it real far, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Wrist also rotates full 360. That's nice. Waist rotates, which is awesome. You don't see that in many figures these days. Um, legs are on a ball joint. Up, back, in and out. Knees, single jointed. And you know what? That's one thing I just don't understand with figures these days. If you're going to make them double jointed at the elbows, why not the knees? Whatever, just a little nitpicking. Uh, let's see, also swivels at the knee, which is kind of cool. More posability that way. And the feet are on ball joints. They pretty much go in any position you desire. Up, down, side to side. They rotate full 360. Make it look like he's got a disfigured leg or something. Sorry, foot. And back here, these heels, which are pretty much the feet of tracks. Notice, notice. All it is is just didn't really rotate the waist. Because now if you did, now we got tracks legs. Just rotate it back. They're on a ball joint as well. I think I said that, but I'll say it again. Ball joint. And they're pretty stiff. I mean, they're not really loose either. They're pretty tight. This one is kind of hard to move. 
but that should mean that his stability should be great. And I mean really great. And something's not right. Am I missing something? Did I forget to do something? Maybe not. Maybe not. I thought like maybe these wheels actually go up. I, I guess not. Maybe that's tracks, but I don't have tracks, so I can't compare him with Wheeljack. Oh, Wheeljack does have light piping. Hopefully you can see that. It would have been nice if he had clear blue eyes, and this was actually blue as well. I know that the car version does have that, but it's okay. I dig it. I'm not paying as much indifference of what I think a deluxe figure actually is worth finding at retailers instead of having to pay online. I mean, if you're going to go for the Dakar version, which I do recommend that one as well, you're going to be paying a little bit more just for a few differences, being the fact that the paint design on his car mode is different just a little bit. He's got a more metallic paint feature, and he's got clear blue eyes instead of just clear blind eyes. So, yeah. Pick your poison. I found this at retails, and I'm happy with him. I'm, I'm not complaining, so there's no point on having to go and get the Dakar version. No point at all. Uh, he does have kind of a backpack, but you know what? That's cool. It's just like tracks. This whole thing's just like tracks. It is tracks. Just a different head sculpt, different foot sculpt, I guess you could say. And just a few other differences, like the wings, for instance. And other than that, I mean, it's just tracks. Now, Wheeljack. And I think this mold looks a lot better for Wheeljack instead of tracks. That's just me. I have seen tracks, even though I don't have him. And I've seen the robot mode for tracks, and I really think this mold is better for Wheeljack. It just is. So, for a size comparison in robot mode, before we go, Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. So, yeah, there's a difference right there. In vehicle mode, the Dark of the Moon figures are smaller than Wheeljack, but in robot mode, they tower over him. So, he's a pretty small guy, but even though he is small, he does come with a few bit of accessories and perhaps... Some good amount of articulation, nice detailing. So I think he's actually worth it. I enjoy him. I like him. So I'm going to have to give him a good grade. Overall, this one is actually a 4.5 out of 5. Truly recommended. I really have no complaints about him. And notice I didn't take too long into getting for all the details on this figure. So yay, I'm improving. Um... If you guys want to see any reviews of Sergeant Cup or maybe even Dark of the Moon Sideswipe or perhaps even Bumblebee that was shown in this video, you know, just hit me with a PM or leave a comment below. As a matter of fact, just go ahead, rate, comment, and subscribe to Reddit's Power Videos on YouTube because this is the end review for Transformers Generations Wheeljack. And until next time, guys, this is Reddit's Power Slice Sonic Ranger signing out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.